Chantelle brought Foodie Beauty back to her channel after her brief interlude of being Everyday Miriam, but she's not been having a lot of success with this rebranding. Foodie has not been posting lives or videos for the past few days. She's taking a break, okay? But she has been rage posting to her community tab. Her perceived reasons for the rage? Reaction channels and haters, of course. In all actuality, Foodie Beauty has been called out for the cringe of making known her PayPal link and it's a mess. But before we dive into Foodie's recent rage and possible fallout for the channel, let's quickly recap the events leading up to the controversial content creators community posts. <music> Foodie Beauty arrived back in Canada on April 1st, having left Kuwait most likely on that date. Leading up to her arrival in Canada, Foodie Beauty was preparing for her 40th birthday, a needed visa run, and she had just received a strike and a seven-day suspension on her YouTube channel. Foodie's content had been going stale in Kuwait, along with the increased concerns of her demising health. Chantel had given some hints of her possible upcoming travels from one of her recently deleted videos when she spoke about trying to address her mental health. Anyways, I have an appointment with like a mental health group, mental health group that like helps you um, with like therapy and with like psych psychiatric diagnosis. So I'm just waiting for like an official appointment with a psychiatrist. So when that happens, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run screaming. Chantel had been raging at reaction channels while in Kuwait, and it is her go-to when her world is spinning out of control. Well, it seems that Chantel may not be keeping that mental health appointment that she has on April the 18th. Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And my goodness, I think the community tab on the Life and Vibe site has predicted that Foodie Beauty was going to return back to Kuwait and was not going to be staying in Canada. Oh my goodness. We've got some stuff to cover today, folks, and I'm going to try to make it quick. But what I did want to try to cover is some of the things that she was saying that are just part of the reason why we are always trying to highlight to people who potentially find Chantel's content to be very weary and to make sure that you are on guard because she tends to lie. That's her number one rule. And she is trying at this time to really use her subscribers and who she calls her beezers to support her as she is doing her different activities around the globe. So anyway, let's bring up an old, uh, a recent video, I should say old, recent video uh, with Chantel. I'm going to bring myself down a little bit smaller just listen to some of the things that she's been sort of talking about. And the reason why we say that you should just always be cautious of her. So this was probably just a couple of days ago. Um, I think it was either Thursday or Friday. She decided that it was okay to go out in the middle of a snowstorm in Canada and grab a cup of coffee. She didn't care if she was putting any type of emergency service worker at risk. And she then proceeded to film from her call. So let's listen to what she said, because it's actually uh, quite interesting. I'll make sure my volume up. You're going to hear a lot of crackling. And that is actually Foodie Beauty's audio, not mine. No, don't talk about love and sex. It makes me sad. I'm, I want to go back to Kuwait. So shh. <laughs> Any rectal like TV shows in that? Maybe. Get a water bed. I'm cracking you up, Deirdre. Okay, I'll make an Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything for me. So 
I don't like asking people for things anyways. I guess I can make one and just keep it there and whoever wants to get something can and if not I'll just get it like whenever I can, you know. <laughs> like things I'm actually going to want, but it's more like things I need like I have to get everything. It sucks. Like a TV wall, a friggin' TV unit. Like, I don't like thinking about, I don't care about that stuff. Honestly, I lay in bed on my phone. Like, what more do I need? A bed, phone, kitchen crap, you know? So it seems that Foodie Beauty really didn't have any problems with perpetuating the scam and lie of Amazon wish list, PayPal links. She advertised her cameo a lot and she was very upset that people were pointing this out and pointed out that other types of channels, including reaction channels, have these types of pay links. The difference being is that people are not out wet begging. It is often in a description box. And if a viewer decides they benefited from the content or enjoyed the content or however they feel and want to donate to that creator, that is the choice of that particular person. But Chantel was misleading her audience completely. And she has really made a lot of changes to her post. So let's get over to her update because that's why people are here. And it is fairly ironic if you listen to this um, post. But I did want to give a shout out to my community first and the poll that they did real quick. Um, and then we'll look at their comments at the end. Um, but I did want to show uh, how much we didn't believe you, Chantel. Okay. So let me share this tab instead. Let me make sure it's there. Yep, it's all good. So I asked uh, a few days ago to my community, it was four days ago actually, do you think Chantel is planning to return to Kuwait and will let her audience think she is staying in Canada just for views and money? Let me know your thoughts and in the comments too. I had 422 votes, so thank you guys so much for participating. It's been a very popular poll, so I really appreciate the engagement. You're wonderful. So, coming in at 54%, sorry, I didn't mean to get loud, it's Chantel. Who knows? Rule number one, she always lies. So, 54% of the audience just knew she lies. <laughs> Coming in at 24%, which is interesting because now we may know that uh, she just uh, had to wait for things to come through. Kuwait denied her visa, not her passport barred from re-entry. So it seems that she's not been barred from re-entry. So that was, uh, you know, not necessarily correct. And then 22% thought, yes, she has no intention of staying in Canada it's a visa run. So the 22% uh, who said that got it right on the nail, uh, along with the 54% who says that she always lies. 1% uh, said, no, she's being truthful and getting her life together to stay. <laughs> and I don't know if that was just a troll vote. So anyway, let's get over to Chantel's page real fast. Uh, we're going to get rid of my uh, poll. We'll come back at the end and take a quick peek at a couple of the comments. Um, but, you know, just to thank everybody for their input and some of the theories that have been floating around my community, at least. Okay. Thank you guys so much for that input. All right. So here we have over here, Miss Chantel. So <laughs> we're going to open up her file. We're going to share her here. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Let's just run this video. It's 42 seconds and then we'll dissect it down.
Wow. So that's exactly what we got from Chantel there, everybody. She is obviously headed back to Kuwait. Uh, she decided to get some B-roll footage that she was taking. I guess she was decided to do a Canadian vlog. And for whatever reason, I guess she got enough money through her PayPal. You guys are terrible for sending. I hope you didn't, allegedly. But, uh, yeah, she's uh, headed back home. Um, none of us are surprised. <laughs> but she obviously is not concerned that uh, she's going to have people unsubscribe. But somehow her channel will probably still remain at 101,000 subscribers because she'll just somehow, ever since she got her plaque, and ever since she got to 100K, she hasn't surpassed that 101. She went from like 97, suddenly up to 101, and then stopped. It's a mar remarkable the way those things happen. And she should be going specifically down at this time. But you have to wonder if she just keeps purchasing subs and adding to that to keep that number the same. Certainly not a sub for sub because she got thrown out of those groups for sure. And she has scrubbed her community tabs as well. So it's a good job that we obviously showed those posts at the beginning of this video because they are now not on Chantel's channel, which is why we document absolutely everything this woman does. So <laughs> she was not taking care of her health. And as a healthcare professional myself, I think it's terrible that she is, she's always lying. And she's also at a great risk of having a deep vein thrombosis for all these long haul flights. She is a very, uh, you know, somebody who complains a lot about traveling and has a lot of issues traveling and does not make any considerations to those around her either while she travels. So she doesn't book extra seats. She she needs assistance traveling through the airport. She doesn't think to call ahead and book these services. She just thinks it's going to be there for her, like a fast food restaurant. So it seems that she just came home, ate takeout, filled her mouth, tried to, you know, e-begged people for money, and then is now headed back home which is what we all knew at the end of the day. So anyway, let's take a little quick look at this uh, frame by frame and what she says, and I'll read it out because she actually makes it very quick. And then we'll take a quick look at her community, uh, scrub, and then a couple of the choice comments uh, from my, um, some of the, you know, highlighted, uh, top rated comments from my community tab. Because... Her community tab probably isn't as active as mine. All right, girl. So let's see this. Final update for a while. So I I guess she really doesn't want to make money because she has no content. And if she, for a while, is that three days? Is that a week? Who knows? But that's okay. I'm going back to Kuwait. She couldn't even do a voiceover. I guess that microphone <laughs> with the crackles. She said, it's not my idea. And she always picks this song. Oh, I should have used this song somewhere. Okay, keep going. All right. This is long. I got a bit nostalgic for Canada. But when I get here, my feelings change. Moving here feels like a step back. I'm not sure because you need to take care of your taxes in Canada. I know you had to file by the end of April for 2023. And you also need to take care of your health. And you said that it is extremely expensive in Kuwait for health care. And you're here giving your PayPal, putting out your cameo in your community tab, and letting people know you're going to make an Amazon wish list. 
So at what point are you sort of not going uh, to think that uh, you, you, I mean, what is the purpose of all this? All right. You said there will be, you know, there's nothing. I, I just don't understand why you're not going to be able to afford your health. If you're begging for people for money, how are you then going to afford the health care in Kuwait too? Especially with this content. All right. Moving here feels like a step back. We said that. Well, if you're just hanging out in the Kia, drinking and eating takeout and not really making any sort of plan, which you can't, because as I've mentioned, you've two bankruptcies, you owe a ton in back taxes, you have terrible credit, and you would be a very high risk for anybody to rent to. You have no credit cards. All of these things that you talked about in the call about Amazon wishlist, it's, it was just a lie and a scam, and we knew it. I think we said there will be no being going back to how things were. Well, of course not. And nobody wanted you to. People wanted you to take care of your health. That's what they want you to do. And you refuse to do it. I love my new life as a revert. And despite not being perfect, I will get closer to Allah. Inshallah. La. Okay. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong at the end. I apologize. Girl, I think you said that you were not eating halal. You didn't even try to eat vegetarian, which would be the sort of option that you could do in order not to break that. You didn't have to fast because you have a medical reason not to, but you still wanted to make sure that you you were supposedly doing it. And then you told your audience that you lied to them about that. So I'm not sure if this is really, you know, true. I think that maybe not using this emotive narrative about your religion and reverting to it is best kind of kept privately at this time until, you know, I don't think it should be content. Anyway. I apologize to for anybody for my mispronunciation. I should have seen that word ahead of time, and but this is all just coming up. The vibe in the Middle East is best. Islamic countries are best. Well, you better behave yourself in Kuwait. I actually have heard that they are cracking down on expats. They have very strict laws about social media and what can be said. So I hope that you are taking all of these things into consideration as you go to Kuwait. All right, I need to take a sip of fluid. And my allergies are awful with these meds. All right, they're drying me out. All right, let's see what more she... <sighs> this roller coaster with Chantel. Supporters have threatened to unsub if I choose a direction in life they don't like. Well, they're subscribers, and if they enjoy your content, they'll watch. <laughs> you know, it's their choice, and they've been letting you know because you're somebody who goes live, and your content is about your life and your vlogs, and they don't enjoy your content in Kuwait. And you just appear to get less and less healthy and less and less mobile and care less and less about your health. You've addressed nothing. And now you're going to a country where you say you can't afford your health care. So I guess that's why they don't want to subscribe to that any longer. Subscribe. Sorry. Let me make sure it's clearly said. I'm sorry. I say, please leave. I don't need fair weather followers. That's right. She doesn't because she can just purchase them, folks. Don't you understand? Those of you who are actually, that's why in reality, she has so few people in her 
live streams when she goes live. And that's why her views have been decreasing every day since she got back to Canada. There was one spike of attention when she arrived back in the country. And the minute she started e-begging, it slowly dwindled. And I think people realized too that she was just lying about it all. She wasn't really going to be doing anything. She was asking for Amazon items before she even really had a property. She was saying that she was going to be putting a deposit down. I mean, it was just a litany of just, and as always, it just seemed like at the last minute. So who's believing this person? Why would you keep it under wraps? It's just wild. Anyway, she, like I said, she'll just purchase her followers. <laughs> Boundaries, people. If any of you who sent me money for my new place here want it back, let me know and I will return it to you. No problem. And that's an absolute lie because Chantel has had a history in the past. Of, and I'm going to call that a lie because I would like to see if anybody did actually ask if they have the receipts that was returned. Because she has a history of telling people once they send her money, it's hers now and you chose to give it to her and you're not getting it back. So this is just her trying to CYA. As we say in nursing. If you don't know what CYA means. Sorry, my like I said, my allergy is terrible. It means cover your holes. Okay. Keep lying to your audience, Chantel. We know you're not lying about going back to Kuwait. In fact, everyone thinks you're on an airplane right now. That everyone thinks you got money for a flight and you're off. So how can you give back people money when you just spend it on another airline ticket? How did, why did you just spend $2,000 on fixing your car if you have no intention to say? So I don't even think you fixed your car, girl, because I think that was not even true at this point. Somebody said that you were off getting tires on your car as well. I don't know about all that. You can't believe anything you say. $2,000, my, you just wanted somebody to feel sorry and probably send you $2,000. Oh, you're a right one, girl. Keep going. Okay. She says, I've changed too much to enjoy living here now. <laughs> it's because what? Pete doesn't want to get into an apartment with you and have his credit ruined again? Can't find anybody? You burnt so many of your bridges that it's no wonder that no one is wanting to hang out with you. Nobody wants a person who uses people and only brings toxicity and trauma dumping to be in a relationship with that type of person. Nobody. Anyway, she says, I've changed too much to enjoy living here now. Whether you believe it or not, it's not my job to convince people of anything. Well, no. But also, when you are having a channel which is supposed to have your authentic self as the content, and it's just been one persistent lie after the other, for years to your channel and then you tell them you just want to bees and all this like it's fun and you're 40 now I think people are kind of getting tired of the formula I think your formula is tired my husband vowed to take good care of me and to support me even more on my health journey if I return oh we'll see about that <laughs> I mean I'm looking forward to doing other people because I think even our audiences are getting tired of watching you. Uh, just because this is just insanity at this point, you going back and forth and risking your health and not taking care of any of the other issues that you really need to be taking care of with your mental health too, in my opinion. I will take more of a break now. I will focus on myself see you okay so what's the last 11 seconds well you're not seeing anybody because you didn't even take the time to record this on your phone with your microphone and just upload it that way 
even inside the Kia, <laughs> away from the family. So I'm not sure. It's not even a good YouTube apology video. <laughs> because at least a good YouTube apology video would include the creator at least sitting there holding their phone, reading their apology. But Chantel doesn't even have the werewolves to do that. Okay, let's see what goes on to the end. I can't even remember. Oh. And, oh, I forgot to say, the husband doesn't have a job either. <laughs> so how is he taking care of you? Is this young man really? I mean, what the catfish is going on here? Because I cannot believe that anybody in his family or his friends are on board with you returning to Kuwait. So I guess the theory that you were paid off is uh, not true. Salal, Salah, sorry. If you were picking her up at the airport, it's on you, mate. That was it. Okay, that was it. All right. Okay. That was quick. Okay. I don't know how that even reached to 42 seconds. All right. Let's get over to her community tab real fast. Okay. It still says Foodie Beauty. Get to us now. See, look. So this is from two days ago. And she has completely removed any sign of her rage posts that you saw at the beginning of this uh, video here. They are gone. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the comments that my channel made. And I'm going to sort it by top comments. Okay, so let me share this tab instead. Okay, so one of the top comments that I had was from Wookie Lover, who thought she had a visa issue. And so <laughs> this is what they said. Um, let's see. Are they thinking? Okay, so let's see. She says, I think there was a visa issue. She would never leave Salah alone. She is too insecure. So she had to leave and be okay with it. She will be moody and all over the place because she doesn't have control over ever anything. I think either visa was denied or they changed the rules. I heard they're only doing one month ooh, at a time instead of three for visitors. I don't know. IDK. This might be good for her. He was making her totally codependent by doing everything for her. She ha always had been, but this is getting bad. Okay. So she's sort of thinking it's a visa issue. Okay. Next most popular. This time sounds like just like the reason she laid out last time. Then Kai Bella showed up. Oh, foodie. Foodie Beauty does seem oddly okay with being apart from her fake hubby. So who knows? <laughs> Somebody else thinks she was blocked from re-entering into Kuwait. Somebody says, um, our friend Inferno says, I'm a mix of the last two. But I lean toward foodies gonna lie, <laughs> which we know she did because she's not staying in Canada, guys. We knew that. So everyone says here she has few ties to anything. This is from uh, uh, Ekim's journey. She has few ties to anything. She is lost and emotionally only in a relationship with food. Well, I would agree with that. Somebody thought she was going to avoid the Q8 summer heat, but it looks like she's going straight back into it. And somebody always says that she's a lying liar. And then I had a. Uh, uh, somebody thought it's a visa issue. Q8 is cracking down. If she goes back, she's not returning alive. Somebody else wrote, which is probably more due to her not taking care of her health and eating herself into oblivion over there and her not managing her diabetes. You're not managing anything. You haven't taken care of your dental health, your mental health, your physical health. None of your health has been cared for, foodie. And then somebody here laughed. 
Only 1% actually believe her. LMAO. 1%. At least 1% on my channel. And then I think Perry Pixie is going to win it here because they said she literally already. Perry Pixie, you get to, to get the uh, gold star today, girl. She's literally already setting up her return to Kuwait with all her, I'm so conflicted, I'm so impulsive, I don't know what to do. He's still my husband, I miss my cat and rat. She's already attempting to manipulate us by saying things to act like she's unsure if she wants to stay in Canada. So that when she gets the visa issue straightened out, she can dart back to Kuwait, just like last time, and claim Kuwait is my, and she just like left it there. I think we're going to end it there with that particular uh, reaction from my commenters. I'm sorry. I lost my words there, so I do apologize. It's right at the end. But I did want to share this because I think we're going to have a little bit of sadness here. And I think we want to share this. Let's share this. With glowing hearts we see the rise, the true nor strong and free. From far and wide, oh Canada. And Finney says, oh, scrub that. We don't care for Canada anymore. All right, guys. Well, I certainly do appreciate you catching up with Foodie's nonsense with me today. And thank you to all those who took part in my poll or my community tab. If you do like this type of content, I always like to say, make sure that you do subscribe and make sure that you hit the likes. Leave me a comment. Leave me a Canadian flag on your way out, everybody. Uh, that's what I would like to see, a Canadian flag. All right, guys. She's out, Canada. Take care, everybody. Bye.